All right, here we are. Hello, everyone. I am here with Raquel Casanova. Hello. R Raquel, right? How do you pronounce your name? Raquel. Raquel or Raquel? Raquel. Raquel is the Spanish version. Raquel, Raquel Casanova is my daughter, and we're on our way to Costa Rica. This is two different projects going on here. <laughs> We're doing the, we're doing the, we're doing the scuba diving project, mm -hmm. and we're doing the mindset. real estate. Oh, of course. <laughs> we have three boot camps going on right now. <laughs> oh yeah, she thought she was going scuba. She's going for an eight, eight day, eight day intensive boot camp, boot camp on mindset. mindset. But and, we're also and real estate. <laughs> <laughs> and we, well, the real estate is part of the holiday. And but I want everybody to actually to well first of all, why don't you talk about how you got into the scuba thing and 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 where you are at now? Uh -huh. And if, of course, if you want to introduce yourself, that's fine too. Uh, and then and then I'm going to talk to everybody about how we combine real estate into this whole thing. Mm -hmm. So this idea has been developing and <laughs> it's been developing and now uh, where we are at is uh, actually very interesting and I'm going to love your comments to see what you think about the real estate project itself. Okay. So let's talk about you and Scuba. Okay. Hi, I'm Raquel. Um, scuba started with my dad because I told him I wanted to be a marine biologist. <laughs> And he was like, okay, we'll take you to do everything that you need to do that. So then we went to Discovery Cove in Florida to swim with dolphins and to ask how being a marine biologist works and what I need to do to get there. Um, and then we ended up going to Dominican and we got certified scuba for the first time. Did a couple dives there in Mexico and then in Malaysia, which was super cool. Um, and then I dropped my marine biology and went into acting. And then I lost the drive to want to do anything that had to do with the ocean for a very long time. Um, and then I was driving past the scuba shop that's next to the apartment I live in. And I was like, oh, wow, like, I missed that. And then I realized then that that's something that I've always been super passionate about. And then I called the guy and I was like, hey, like, how does this work? And he said, just come by. And then out of that, out of nowhere, I started intern internshipping, mentoring, mentorship. I guess so. Intern Internshipping was, in the scuba yeah, shop. Yeah, in the scuba shop. And in exchange of my lessons to become an instructor, I'm just working at the shop like three days a week and then I'm already like so now you're doing your courses yeah. so which one was the first course that you did well we did first, the open, open water, water dive ourselves yeah. in the Dominican that's like something that anybody can do yeah. as long as you study and then I did my advanced open water so it's basically the ability to go deeper than 60 feet you went recently 100 feet mm -hmm. in Torbemori Torbemori <gasps> in close to Algonquin and it was oh, yeah. Torbemori it's in another area oh. yeah yeah <laughs> but that's okay this is why I didn't do science you mean geography <laughs> <laughs> well geography is kind of a science <laughs> just leave it <laughs> just Cut edit it that it. <laughs> it's actually it's unedited so never mind so I went to Torbemori <laughs> I ended up going 100 feet underwater for the first time. It was my first deep dive. It was 86 feet. And I was like, this is pretty crazy. And then on the third day, we did 100 feet to see some wrecks. And it's just like an insane experience of like, you really have to focus on like breathing. So it's super weird. And then I loved it so much. I like the adrenaline. And I think that anyone who sees so much adrenaline, it's the healthiest way or the healthiest form. Is One, to, yeah, it's a healthy way, yes. It's to seek something that you're passionate about that can release endorphins. And That's all that awesome. Stuff. Yeah, and that I does that, that for me. Instead of going into 
other things that are not as healthy. Right. That's that's great. So you did your your advanced your advanced and now you're doing my rescue. Rescue, so okay. Once I do my rescue, then I can do a couple side courses like a dry suit course because we live in Canada and it's cold. So you can literally dive in the winter. In the winter, in the freezing, do like frozen lakes. Frozen lakes. You can go North Pole, like I can go wherever. And then I have to do a nitrox, which is basically a different kind of mix in your tank that helps you last longer underwater. Well, you can actually use this video for your own yeah, I can. YouTube as I can, well. I can. Starting to sound. And after the rescue course, I'm, and I do all those other courses, then I can start doing like a teaching assistant course. And then I do my master diver, my dive master, which is a whole other one, and then my instructor course. And then I'm certified. Wow. So you're going to, so, and you're working towards, right now you're literally working towards the rescue one. Yeah. Rescue one. So I'm happy because, because I feel <laughs> safe now because I'm really a beginner. I feel safe yeah. now that I'm going with somebody that can rescue me. Yeah. But. I can. Yeah. So, so there's another thing too. We got to talking and, and you said that, you know, for some reason, probably Costa Rica would be a nice place for you to live. And so we're talking and of course, we I've got this real estate thing in my mind, mm -hmm. and uh, and we got to talking a little bit more, and I said, well, what what if what would be a nice way to live? Oh, imagine living by the beach or whatever, mm -hmm. and 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 we say, wow, it would be nice if you could live right on the beach, maybe have your scuba shop at the beach, and then maybe even live yeah. on the top floor of that of the shop and i said wow that's a good idea what about a dive shop training you go you you go you you, you do your scuba you can do anything related to scuba what you do right now at the yeah, store where you're at and it was like all kinds of services including the fact that you can go scuba and side huh? note after we had had this conversation is when i started getting more invested in the shop and it actually feels like my shop I open Perfect. it, I close it. Like it gives you, I get, I got the full experience of what it would be like if I had my own shop. Like what it entails, what I need, what to recommend, all these different things. And then, um, yeah. And then there's even an apartment upstairs, which right. maybe I can figure out a way to man maneuver my way up there. But then it would literally be living upstairs, working downstairs, diving in the lake. And if you're doing this in Costa Rica, you would be doing the same thing, <laughs> but you'd go to the beach and you'd have the beach right in front of but you. But it's like the training, that's what I'm saying. It's like, All it's the like, training. It's kind of like a, like a little, what would you call that? Like a, like a glimpse into what that would be like. I'm, I, I see, I learned that right now that you got into it yeah, from that perspective, which is amazing. So imagine this. We, you have the same kind of idea in, in Costa Rica mm -hmm. by the beach. So you're making money out of the scuba shop because there's all kinds of services there. Yeah. You, you can sell equipment and, and, and scuba wear and a whole bunch of other stuff that you can offer lessons, you yeah. can license people. In, and then I was thinking, in, in addition, maybe we could also have, I don't even know if this works in Costa Rica yet or not, but I was thinking maybe rent scooters or yeah. or uh what's the other one the water Surfboards. skis water yeah so you have like a whole business and at the top you can actually live maybe it could have more than just one unit maybe it could have a couple yeah, of units and you can airbnb there maybe three units airbnb a couple and then just live in the one yeah. and then you're living the life mm -hmm. so we actually are going to go and see a realtor who's going to show us uh, a couple of options for that and then maybe she's going to end up running the shop i may end up running the scuba and then we have the real estate as a as an asset yeah. as part of the whole project because that's the idea you know mcdonald's you know how they really make them you know their, how they make their money I don't. well most people think it's burgers but Is it's it actually real estate? real estate they if i'm not mistaken they own the building and the land 
where they're at. Imagine. So the income from the franchise and all that stuff, I mean, I think that's just a bonus. You know how it's they a cherry started? on top. Yeah, I saw the movie. No, you know how McDonald's started? Yeah. There's an old guy at a farm. Oh, that's oh. funny. That's a joke. Okay, that would normally be a father <laughs> joke, but this is a daughter joke. Okay. And wait, hmm? there's one more thing. <laughs> wait, there's more. <laughs> oh my God, we got it. It's ten minutes okay, already. Go. No, no, go, go, go. Say, okay, say. okay, okay. Uh, side note: In case you were wondering, on um, working in Costa Rica as something tour related, you have to do a tour course. Okay. Where you learn about the country, the history. We don't object. No. No problem. Now you're on YouTube. <laughs> You can do a tour course, which basically gives you all the insight on the background of the country, history, and all that stuff that you need to know in order to be a tour guide, plus your licensing as a scuba diver or a surf instructor, and then you can work there. Uh, that's news to me. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we'll see if we can figure that out when we're over there. Yeah. So if you have any questions, you know how to contact me. Comment, subscribe, like. <laughs> Please, like or subscribe. Please share. <laughs> Share. Oh my God, she's better. She's she's more trained than I am. Yes, please like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs>